Begin with that breaking update in the Kathleen Moore case. The Pasco County Sheriff just announcing they have found her body. Let's get right out to our Eric Waxler live near the area where the body was found earlier today. Eric, Eric please walk us through exactly what happened and this latest update. Hey, Wendy, investigators have been here at Colin Knapp's house in Newport Ritchie on Carmel Avenue since last week. They've been looking for evidence and ultimately looking for Kathleen Moore's body, which, as we now know, they have found her. The, the scene actually is starting to clear. Some of the uh, sheriff's deputies have left. I saw the medical examiner's truck leave a short while ago, signaling that, yes, they have found her body and positively identified her. Now, earlier today, Knapp, Moore's boyfriend, made his first appearance in front of a judge that was done by video from the Land O'Lakes Jail. He's charged with second-degree murder. The judge ordered no bond and said it was especially fitting considering the new developments in this case, which we now know that her body, Kathleen Moore, was found in a wooded area uh, very close to her boyfriend Knapp's home. Uh, it was covered in brush. The sheriff alluded that it was uh, she was intentionally uh, hidden back there. But again, today she was found as somebody who was walking by noticed and tipped off the sheriff's office. There have been friends waiting here all day, hoping for some sort of answers. And now, sadly, they have them. She's just an amazing person. She's just one of the ones that you can call when you need something, two o'clock in the morning, you know. She just, she's there for you all the time. She just spent like three hours with me two weeks ago because my daughter was running for homecoming and she helped me make all the flyers and, you know, she was just always somebody that you can count on. Detectives say Moore was last seen alive early November 29th getting into Knapp's Cadillac and that Cadillac is still parked or was at least earlier today at the restaurant in Port Ritchie where Knapp worked. Investigators found his clothes covered in Moore's blood tossed in a dumpster near that restaurant as well. And again, you heard Sheriff Nako talking about the extensive investigation and searching through dumpsters looking for evidence uh, that all eventually led to finding Kathleen Moore's body here in Newport Ritchie. Live in Newport Ritchie, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News. Eric, thank you. The Pasco County Sheriff has called this a case of domestic violence, and he wants to make it clear help is always out there. One of the most important resources to highlight is the statewide domestic violence hotline. That number right there on your screen, 1-800-500-1119. It will anonymously connect you to a DV center nearest to you. We've shared more resources on our website at abcactionnews.com slash DV.